So, in the last lecture, we saw that DFA was defined as the DFA M, the machine M equals Q, the set of states, finite in number, sigma, the alphabet, again finite in number, delta, the transition function, the initial state Q0, and the set of final states F, finite in number again. We saw an example for the language L1 consisting of words starting and ending with an A over the alphabet sigma AB. So, we learned how to draw a, a deterministic finite automata for this particular language. We now move on to the notion of non-determinism and how would you draw a non-deterministic finite automata. So, the deterministic finite automata for this particular language looked like this, right? So, we have explicitly mentioned all the transitions for every state in the system. However, the NFA is much easier to draw. For the NFA, we start with the initial state Q0 and we see what we need to expect. So, the first thing we expect is the first um, letter we start with has to be an A. So, we have a transition on an A going to a different state. The reason why we go to a different state is because Q0 here represents the fact that I have seen nothing in this particular example Q0 represents I have seen nothing Q1 represents I have seen exactly one A in the beginning so Q1 represents I have seen exactly one A let me not write that down but you you could remember it and on Q1 I have seen one A in the beginning so I don't care as now I can have A's or B's. So, if I have a B, I have, I am still ok as long as I don't mark Q1 as a final state. I can also have an A and loop on Q1 and still not mark Q1 as a final state. And I can say that Q2 is my final state and I say I go from Q1 to Q2 on the last day. And that's it. This is my fi uh, non-deterministic finite automata. So Q1 says that I have not yet seen the last A. And Q2 says I have seen the last A. So, these are essentially implicit forms of remembering where I am in the system. So, for a string A, B, B, B. So, my string starts with an A and ends with a B. So, when we start, we will be in Q0. We will read the first A and we will move from Q0 to Q1. We will read the B and on Q1, we have only one transition labeled with a B. So, there is no confusion and we take that transition which leaves us back in Q1. We read the next B. Again, no confusion takes us back to Q1. We read the next B. No confusion takes us back to Q1. But our string has ended. What do we do? So, because our string has ended and we are still in Q1, which is not a final state, the understanding is that this string will not be accepted by the system. So, which strings will be accepted by this NFA? Let us take another string A, B, B, A, A. This particular string, when applied on the machine, the machine will behave as follows. On an A, let me draw this out for you. So, we will start in Q0. Pardon that I am writing very small. I am trying to fit everything in one page. So, we start in Q0. On an A, we go to Q1. On a B, we remain in Q1. 
on a B, we again remain in Q1. However, on the next letter A, from Q1, I can either go to Q1 or to Q2. And I must represent this. So I go to either Q1 on an A or I can go to Q2. Right? The last day, if I get an, the last day in Q2, I, it will reject. The reason being that from Q2, there is no transition out on any letter. Specifically, there is no transition out on an A. So, this last day for this particular branch, Q2, will terminate. Although Q2 is a final state. We do not care whether Q2 is a final state until we have completed the entire string. So, when we are at Q2 at this point, we are not interested whether Q2 is a final state or not. Because Q2 does not have any transition on the last day, the, this particular search fails. However, this branch is yet to be seen. So, on an A, I can again either stay in Q1 or I can go to Q2. Now, when I check here, I see that my string has completed. Because my string is over, I can be in either Q1 or Q2. At least one of the two states must be a final state for the NFA to accept the string. And in this case, Q2 is a final state. Therefore, the NFA accepts. So, a, a very short recap. A string will be accepted by the NFA if any one path in the NFA leads you to a final state, any one path. So, in this particular exploration, this particular path did not lead us to a final state. This particular path led, led us to a final state. This path that does not lead us to a final state. This path is going to violate the, 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 the fact that we have no transition here. So, we ignore this. These are the two paths of interest because they are the paths we get after ready, reading the whole string of which Q2 is a final state and we stop saying that the string is accepted. This is how an NFA behaves. Please notice that on Q0, we do not have a transition on a B and in Q2, we do not have a transition neither on an A nor a B. In Q1, we have a transition on a B and we have two transitions on an A one looping back to Q1 and one moving forward to Q2. So, in an NFA, it is possible that there is no transition on a particular letter, on a symbol. There can be multiple transitions from a state on a symbol. Okay. So, these are the two possibilities when you have an NFA. However, for a DFA, you have to have exactly one transition on a symbol. You cannot have multiple. This is the difference between an NFA and a DFA. Also, the acceptance of a string, the criteria for accepting a string is different. Like the DFA definition, the NFA definition is very similar. An NFA is defined as MNFA equals a finite set of states Q, the alphabet sigma, a transition function delta, a initial state Q0 and a set of final states F. In this particular case, the transition function for M and FA is as follows. You have three states Q0, Q1, Q2. On an A, Q0 will go from Q0 to the set Q1. Please note that in a DFA, there was no set notation because you could have only one possible next state for a particular letter in the alphabet. On a B from Q0, there is no next state. So, the empty set phi. 
from Q1 on an A, you can go to two possible next states Q1 and Q2, and on a B, you can go to the single next state Q1. From Q2 on an A or a B, there is no next state, hence the representation as the empty set 5.